All right, let's start it up. We are back with more to see Inc. We're playing Vigil here today. Uh, Vigil, I don't really think got much, if anything, in the, the Summer Slash update. But it's been a while since we played Vigil, and I was feeling it again. So let's do it. I figured we'd just do it. Um, pretty basic build here um we got the weapon one here the overheating one uh, we get to fire a bunch until that bar under our uh, crosshair there fills up and then instead of a reload we do a uh un overheat animation a cooldown animation but if you manage to stop firing before acquired that guy really wants some snacks um <laughs> you manage to stop firing before the uh, gun overheats. It will actually cool down um, over time, so you don't necessarily have to worry about it, which can be really powerful if you have a gadget you want to throw down or use your expertise. A um, lot of things you can do while your gun's cooling down. And it's important that you don't quite hit that uh, overheat threshold because doing that uh, cooldown animation, you're actually locked into your weapon. You can't actually switch to an expertise or a... Uh, or a gadget you you're locked in to the cooldown animation that was kind of odd but not that odd <laughs> um so that gun's pretty good eight damage to the body 11 to the head pretty good fire rate i'm sure we'll see in a minute let's get going there should be a gray over here nice okay and how nice. Then we have Expertise 3 here, the Tactical uh, GCG, I believe it is, which uh, we get to equip, and then it'll blast us backwards pretty uh, far there, kind of like our Bounce Mat. So if our Bounce Mat's on cooldown, we can uh, point straight down with our Expertise, and it will uh, it'll just go off. It'll, it'll be basically a Bounce Mat. Um, was that? That Doug looked a little wiggly right out of the corner of my eye. Hang on. What are you? What's going on over here, Doug? Gun cooldown. There we go. Lost and found. All right, and we did get confirmation on the Doug there. They opened the drawer, and guards don't do that. Uh, we're missing two HP, and I'm not nah two HP. There's got to be a snack around somewhere. There is. Is that near me? Nope, that was not. <laughs> I jumped up on the desk there to see if we could find this. This is weird, right? Ooh. Uh, one thing I didn't mention about our uh, expertise there is it does actually do five damage if we hit someone with it. So me swapping to it actually just bought us a tiny little bit of cooldown time. And uh, I'm not going to say that was enough, but all in all, it was enough. Uh, I also bought... Oh, yeah, we haven't done our passive at all. Uh, so our passive, we throw this little thing. And that's going to uh, pulse out and highlight NPCs nearby. But if there's any out-of-cover spies, um, it will uh, trace them, which is pretty nice. Um, but it's not amazing, because it does have a kind of weird input, and you have to aim down the sight and then hit your melee key. But it's not awful. Could be useful here to see if someone's like trying to hack their way into the Vuma Modian. Right. But nice. it's a very actively used passive. Same with all of Vigils. Uh, let's actually get down there. There we go. Um, you can throw it really far. So I can throw it there to make sure no one's in the purple room I'm heading to next. If we saw, you know, the wrong character in that space then we Long might know and yeah, could give us an advantage that way. I still haven't put trip wires down anywhere. I bought them because I realized I haven't used them in a really long time. Like, I think we used them on Hans and maybe a Larson as like a gimmick to use their passives, but I haven't just used trip wires. So I thought I would and then didn't <laughs> or haven't, I should say. Um. Let's walk by this guy, see if he... Nope. 
Um, there is bonds. I thought I saw bonds. Alright, that covers off the two lower vault terminal rooms, and there's still one... Hang on. What is that? That is weird. There's still one vault terminal room remaining. Or one vault terminal in one of the rooms. I kind of walked this way to see if they would notice and, like, wait for me and reveal themselves as a player, but... Might just be an NPC acting weird. They've also just gone, so... What? We're moving on. I'm moving on. Um, nope, there they are. Once more we could put trip wires. It's just in here, right? Like, Great spot. when people are using the stairs, they'll <laughs> hit them, maybe. That's the thought, at least. Yeah, okay. For a second, I didn't think I was out on the right floor, but I am. Oh, credit go. purse grab on the way by. Um, oh, VIP here. Let's actually... Well, this is open. I can toss that in there, and it should ping into the room I'm going into. That breaking noise was my passive breaking. There is no vault terminal Jeez, in this all right. Pretty crazy area. One thing I can do from here, actually, is the same thing. Yeah, now we can see if anyone was in there, but I don't see it pinging, so it's probably fine. Let's focus on our area again. Nobody's shooting us. Yeah, good. Walking over all these bodies is not exactly something I want to be doing, but... Let's... Um, I guess we've covered loadout. We can do field upgrades. Um, <laughs> not that there's anything special about these. This is something I've thrown together and am playing with. Not sure it's any good, but there it is. Um... Do have great key cards, so we don't have to rush to let have Amber let us in there. Though, yeah, Jaddy's behind us. That's why they're running. Can I see the actual room from here again? Yeah, put that down. And then if we get a ping, it doesn't look like there's anyone in that room at all, let alone a player. This is probably the last one then. Nope, this last one's got to be upstairs. All right, now we got to be a little aware. Someone could be camping. The last one has been a little while. This is where the new retinal scanner might come into play. Uh, but we need a VIP outfit. We do know two boo two VIPs are here, but I think we're just gonna hope the last one's not being camped. Oh, three VIPs? Is this the blonde one? Yeah, okay. Because if we saw two of the dark header twins, then one of them was a player. Um I don't know if there's a spot I can throw that. Actually, I should have thrown it in the stairs. That's a player. That movement. You just walk. And... And we got it. This gun's really good. <laughs> I should. I still didn't actually check to see if there was a... Uh, if there was a player in here, and I should have, because just because there was one player out there doesn't mean there's not a player in here. Keep up the good work. This player had, like, everything, but so did we. We also have everything, but if anyone finds the body here, they get a full loadout. Um, I guess we're sprinting to the uh, vault at this point. Did we do all the terminals? I think we were, we were definitely in every single room. Did we do every single terminal? I think we might have. Wait for our cover to go back up and sprint again. We're just kind of using our cover bar as our, an extension of our suspicion bar since we have cover accelerator. All right, stop sprinting before you jump here because if you're sprint jumping, your cover still goes down. Even if you like let go of every single button. Um, it still registers as like a sprint jump until you hit the ground and you can accidentally blow your cover really easily that way. Okay. I don't want to use that printer to get a gold key card. 
Um, but I will change the skies here. Oh, we never broke these. We should break those. And put two more down while the other four trip wires reload. Okay, nice. Found a printer. And there's one out there. We can't hear it yet. This better be the right spot. Yeah, it is. Good. Right. Almost got my other trip wires back. Hello? Okay. Just in case. At least this way. They'll either bounce pad or maybe jump it, and we should have some knowledge they're coming for us. Before they get here. Oh, I can't see it from this angle. Okay. We were pretty quick on it. Uh, we are going to take a second and get this forward. Selling security software now, Garcia. So almost cap us out. And now our lack of shield is going to bother me a little bit because I got to look at all three of these doors that are one way, the opposite way, or are they zero way? I forget at this point. They change these doors kind of often. Time to finish this. There's nobody. Nobody in range of the package wall hacks. Means I can probably break all of my trip wires again. Not a great showing for the trip wires this game, but maybe next game. Let's take another look around just to make sure I'm not crazy. Yep. All right. Well, when I don't see anybody, I do like to run upstairs if I can, because I think it provides more options. Still, there is someone. They are really far away and kind of below me, which means they're well, this might be a workout to be a good play. The only question is, do we invest our bounce pad in this play? And I'm going to say no, because uh, we might need it to jump from A to C or A to B over there. But we're going to start by calling A, and they're crouched. Um, we might just get away with this, I guess. They could still get here. Like, There's plenty of time. The car takes 20-ish seconds to get here. And then I have full extraction time. Appropriate. But uh, it is looking unlikely at this point. That does reach. Um, I should be right on the point, probably, even though it'd be good to put another tripwire somewhere. Oh, they are there. It's a Cavalier, and they do not have time, and they know it. They stopped. We get a free exit there. We did land some nice kills before we got the package, but the phase two and three there, not a ton happening, unfortunately. But can't really complain about that. We we got a bunch of nice plays early. Really showed off the weapon, didn't show off the tripwires, but uh, maybe we'll get some fancy tripwire placement in uh, our next game here. Almost Echelon 10. Really want to hit that Echelon 10 on Vigil. It's one of the few agents I don't have it yet, and we don't get the exemplar outfit till then. Let's go for game two. All right, back on Diamond Spire for game two. Um, not a great look for trip wires, but we'll do our best. Uh, maybe even. What if we just... Recognize does it reach? Nope. I feel like that would have been a good spot. Um, other than that, I got nothing. Um... Maybe we just grab the grain, go downstairs, and work our way up from the bottom. Either that, or we go to a staircase, put a bunch of tripwires in it, and work our way, like, down from the top. Taking it. I was really tempted to just jump this, but if anyone happened to be looking, me sprinting directly at them is going to be less sus, right? Uh, safe not opened. Uh, nothing really going on around here. Um, kind of want that, that outfit, but wants to win some more. Surprised by that counter is not staff only. They've done that in a couple areas where, like, bah, wait, is that a VIP? Nope. No, it wasn't. I'm crazy. Um, all right. Maybe we just do the staircase thing. We just put stuff in the stairwell. Yeah. That safe is still closed, too. 
Did no one spawn on this floor? I don't know where people would spawn on this floor when neither of those safes are taken. Doug, what is up, buddy? Why do you keep doing that? Looking, looking a little weird, my friend. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it is a player trying to do stuff. Jeez. And here I was thinking my suit wearing days were over. They were just trying to like get in range of the door, I guess. Selling security software now, Garcia. All right. Um. Better than what we had back this then. here and okay we if if this vip is out here when we leave um might need it well so there's one thing you can do here where you can put the tripwire up here if i could aim you can it's just really touchy this is a lot of work for me to do to just show this off but the problem is down here when this door opens inward this bottom one doesn't break for some reason this one breaks no idea why uh we might be able to show it off it might cost me eight intel to do or five intel to do but uh when someone opens that door it opens inward the bottom section doesn't break the top set the top tripwire there will actually get interrupted by the door swing so it's something that happens on all swinging doors it's i don't know this one way or another so i'm i i think i assume i'm guessing it's because uh they've like specifically coded the bottom part of the door not to interrupt a tripwire or something and the top of the door just isn't coded that way uh, but truly no idea why it happens but Success. thought it was worth shouting out there's also a fight going on that i can hear but i can't do anything about I really would like the social battery. And we might waste the five intel just to, uh... I guess we don't have five intel to waste, though. Just to show off the tripwire thing. But, uh, yeah, it makes what would otherwise be a very heads-up smart play a little lackluster. Um, I can't even find enough intel to get through the door over here. Uh, up here, there should be a couple, and then we're gonna show it off. This is a big investment for a very small payoff, but you know, who's who's never had both sides of a thing? All right, I could be wrong here. Watch me be wrong here. It happened last time. They probably fixed it, and I didn't read the bug fix section. All right, maybe they fixed it, and I didn't read the bug fix section. Where is this fight happening above my head? All right, either it doesn't work on your own thing or they fixed it. And I didn't read it in the bug patch notes, but I guess someone in the comments will probably let me know. I invested a lot of time in showing that <laughs> it didn't do what I wanted it to do. Uh, I like how I've talked about like three times going to the stairwell and doing something and I've just gone not to the stairwell each time. Should be out of cover, and that should no. I was gonna say that. Do we have everything? Oh my god, we have like everything. I'm just gonna sit on top of the body. Okay, um, against the Larson there, the, the sonar beacon comes in real handy, especially in that location. There's not really a lot of spots they can go in six seconds where that sonar beacon I put down wouldn't have reached them, which is why I threw it down. So, um, I just, they could have also got cover back, which they kind of did as I, um, like, it traced them just before um they got covered back so they must have had some level of cover accelerator or just weren't moving and uh and then we got a little trace off so i knew they were in range and then we spotted the, the smoke cloud and then the octo wasn't actually very sus the only reason i <laughs> shot the octo uh it was a little sus but uh we did see or hear earlier that there was two people fighting so, um, 
I took a gamble on they were still around and it got proven right. Recognize Bishop's handiwork. A fine location. Congratulations. You have found a vault terminal. Uh, this is the last vault terminal. We are full on everything. And there we go. Another little one of those. And all right. Well, I was hoping to get the elite guard outfit. Okay, and we can pick these up manually rather than waiting for them to come back into our inventory. Anyone running this way? Not really. Um, couple spots I could put trip wires here. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for these blue doors though. Oh, I want that rifle in the case there. And doot. Super sus. And slow it down again. Yeah, this does take a minute. We might end up taking too long. Oh, another rifle. Good coverage. Other players can hear that, like, set down noise as you set those down, so um, that's why I quick turned back to that, Doug, in case it turned out to be a player. We don't have a thing started yet. I guess we'll start this one. And then we do need intel and an outfit, but we can at least go put our tripwires over here while that's printing. We'll be back in plenty of time. We still have four intel, even if we don't find any more at all. Obviously, someone could have got past us. Nothing we can do about it right now, though. All right, it's almost done. Acquired. We might go without an outfit, because I'm not seeing one. Ah, there's... Time and Just two arrows close. Come on. Still collecting event points. I'll be done soon. I think I'm level like 13 out of 15 on the event. And then we can stop collecting all the event stuff in videos. Or out of videos too. Anyone? No. Alright. It's been a sad tripwire experience here. We kind of forgot to use them game one and game two. We put them down pretty frequently and didn't really get anything. I should have thrown my expertise, but I don't think you can do that while you're hacking. But I should have just threw it like there. It would have probably covered both of these directions. I think that was a Hans. Uh, the, uh, the legendary Hans skin where he's like a commando. Rupert has the same oh, not great, because we... Don't want to fight a Hans at that range. We want to fight him at maximum range. <laughs> Even if we end up with some fall off. Um, yeah. Please? Okay. Jeez. Oh, he was the last one. Oh, for a minute there, it looked really rough. I'm not gonna lie. We we had great shots in him to start, and then... And then Doug ate a whole lot of shots on us when he was running at us. Which was, like, good by the haunts. Hide behind Doug. Excellent strategy. I'm just walking to heal, even though it doesn't really matter at this point. Ooh, rifle. And there we go. Pretty good show of the weapon. Terrible show for the tripwires, unfortunately. Um, but pretty good showing. I really do like this, where we what we did here, to use our sonar in a sort of combat way. In the first game, although we didn't actually catch anyone with it, we did get to see how you can throw it on uh, various points to like see if anyone who's not supposed to be in there is in there. Um, I think the sonar is really good. It just 
is kind of frustrating to use, but that's true of all of her passives, so... <laughs> Reminds me of better days. Yeah, there we go. Pretty good games. Diamond Spire back to back. Um, yeah, I hope you did enjoy. Do like the video if you did. Comment on your thoughts. We'll chill. We got the mission reports. Coming. There we go. Big 2,000 event points. I mean, I don't even think we did the, uh, the VIP. Echelon 9. We're almost there. I almost got the, uh, the exemplar outfit. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.